Hello everyone and thanks for joining me this afternoon. This coming weekend is jam packed with something for everyone. So grab a notepad and plan your social schedule right now. Black Violin is a violin viola duo of classically trained musicians who fuse hip hop, jazz, funk and classical music. And guess what? They're coming to Augusta later this week. Will B and Kev Marcus say connecting with their diverse fans is an opportunity to break down the barriers that separate us, empower individuality and encourage progress. Listen to this. predecir el comportamiento de una persona basada en su raza o nivel social. Estereotipo. You can catch Black Violin with Symphony Orchestra Augusta this Thursday and Friday, February 9th and 10th. Ticket prices for the community concert Friday night at 7.30 are 10 to 20 bucks. They will be performing with Symphony Orchestra Augusta and their DJ. Well, if Black Violin isn't enough music for you this weekend, you have a great opportunity to take advantage of musical theater. Camelot is coming up at Augusta University, and we have a couple of the fabulous actors with us here today. Sarah Best, who plays Guinevere. Yes. And Rick Kramer, who will be familiar to many of you in the oh, Augusta maybe. theater audience. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a favorite. Back again, Rick Kramer, who's playing King Arthur. Thank you. And you all are presenting um, th the show in conjunction with the music department. Is that right? It's what the, department? It's the university, Augusta University. It's the opera ensemble and the music department. So it's kind of a uh, coalition between them. Joint endeavor. Joint, yes. A joint endeavor. And Camelot is such a wonderful production. Are you so excited to be doing it? Oh, I'm, I'm so excited because it's uh, one of my all-time favorite musicals. I've done it once before and uh -huh. when the last time I was in it I was a member of the ensemble and I knew after I saw it I was like this is going to be a dream role for me this is going to be something that I just always will want to do and so when I got the call offering me the job I was like yes oh how great yes we will make it work <laughs> well Camelot has very special memories for me when I lived in Augusta back in 78 to 88 so it's been a while uh -huh. one of the shows that I did here was Camelot and uh, at that time, I was a <coughs> little younger, and uh, <laughs> so the appropriate role at that time was Lancelot. So I was able to do Lancelot here, actually with my wife, oh, playing Guinevere. And, and it's, it's oh, amazing, no. it's amazing, Rick, but we have a picture of you <laughs> playing Lancelot. We were, we were saying earlier yes. how this is hot Lancelot. Well, <laughs> maybe. And then I got to actually do the role again after I moved to Cincinnati, and I played Lancelot again. I was still 
younger at the time, but <laughs> I, I'd always say that King Arthur was, uh, again, a, a bucket list role. We, we actors call them sure, bucket list bucket roles. List role. And uh, when, when I saw the opportunity and I knew I'd be coming back home again yeah. to work with people that I knew and Steve Walford, who's directing, a great friend of mine and another friend that's on stage with us, Jim Garvey, I, I, I couldn't say no. Oh, what a great group. That's going to be great. And Steve uh, Walpert is very well known to theater buffs here in the area because of all the years out of the Fort Gordon Dinner Theater and commercials and lots of other local productions. Um, Chat Noir, right? Never there. Never there. That shows what I know, just trying to wing this off the cuff. <laughs> But Steve is certainly well known in our theater community here, and he is directing this mm -hmm. performance. Correct. And you can catch the show Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the 10th, 11th, and 12th at Maxwell Theater at Augusta University. Um, 7.30 in the evening, Friday and Saturday, and then there's a matinee Sunday at 3. Mm -hmm. And uh, talk a little bit about what your favorite part of Camelot is, why, why it's such a great show for you. I mean, well, first there's the score, which is just mm. lovely. Some of the most beautiful music of the golden age of musical theater. Uh, you know, the, the famous If Ever I Would Leave You that Lancelot sings at the beginning of the second act is just heart melting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, beautiful yeah. music. Um, but for me, it's always been the bittersweet love story that uh, is just very heart wrenching. The idea of Camelot and the things that King Arthur stands for are so noble, and the love that Guinevere has for both Lancelot and King Arthur m makes for just a wonderful evening of um, love and sorrow, and it's a perfect blend of of those things that we all love about the theater anyway. Right, <laughs> right. You want that, the whole kind of roller coaster of emotions. Yes. You want to feel mm -hmm. a lot. I love the, actually it is a love story, but it's a, it's a comedy tragedy as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, a lot of very, very poignant but funny lines uh, that the audience will all get because the audience is very familiar with the show typically. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, but obviously the tragedy at the end where the king has to decide what to do. Does he kill the law? Does he kill the bride? You know, so it's, uh, it's heart-wrenching, uh, the, the, sc uh, the score is wonderful, the dialogue is great, the characters are great, mm -hmm. they all have depth to the character, which is something I look for in a role. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> now, coming from out of town, you already know your parts, and then you're just here, I guess, to, to rehearse with the, the local cast for a few days. Yes. I'm, uh, for me, that's kind of been my my life for the last few years doing freelance work where I do a role preparation prior to arriving and then arrive with the local cast and work there or sometimes everybody is arriving you know I okay. spend a lot of time mm -hmm. doing summer theater jobs where you prepare in advance and then everybody shows up together and you all something special it. about like creating something in a short amount of time with a variety of different people yeah and for me it's very different this is one of the first times that I've had to prepare completely ahead of rehearsal process. Mm -hmm. um, my uh, brain is getting a little older. It's a little more difficult for me to memorize, <laughs> especially out of context. It's easier when you have, you know, your, your acting um, uh, compadres on stage and the stage directions to cement the lines. But learning those lines completely in, uh, in advance has been uh, a challenge, shall oh, I yeah. say. But it, it's a great <laughs> challenge. It's very different. Um, well, I know it's going to be wonderful. I encourage everybody to go Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. That's February 10th, 11th, 12th. You can call the ticket office about getting reservations, and you can also go online and check it out there. Rick, Sarah, thanks so much for your time today. Thank and you for having us. Good luck with the show. Break a leg. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Still ahead.